Jacksonville reaches 128 homicides this year, many of the cases unsolved. A local mother whose son was killed along with community activists begging for the code of silence to be broken. Just this past weekend, there were eight homicides. And three of them happened in the Paxson area off Edgewood Avenue, blocks away from each other. So far this year in Jacksonville, there have been 106 murders. 30 have been cleared by an arrest. Three have been cleared by death. So that means 70% of the murders in the city are unsolved. News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel is standing by where a vigil is set to begin for a local father gunned down while walking his dog. We begin with Destiny McKeever live from JSO. Destiny, community activists, they are begging people to speak out if they know something. They are. I spoke with Donald Foy earlier today. He is the president of Mad Dads which is a victim's advocate group here in Jacksonville. He says it's very simple. People need to start telling police what they know. Our records indicate the city has seen 128 homicides in 2018 and 106 of those are murders. 30 of the murders have been cleared by arrest. Over 70% are unsolved. I spoke with Latasha Hobbs today, a year after her son was murdered while walking his west side neighborhood. Today, the murder remains unsolved. We've had no arrest in our case. Um, I fight for him every single day. Um, and I also need the help of our community. Hobbs joins Donald Foy of Mad Dads as he pushes for a better Jacksonville. Foy says he feels the community will have to speak up about what they know in many of these cases. We just had all the shootings over the weekend with the technology, with all the officers that we put on last year, and, and we're going to continue to have it until the community breaks the code of silence. Of the recent unsolved homicides, December 22nd, 24-year-old Thomas Gordon was shot to death while walking his son's dog in Woodstock. December 23rd, 34-year-old John Dossie was shot and killed while walking in Woodstock. That same day, 48-year-old Victoria Wish was killed, two others wounded in a triple shooting on Pearl Street. When you go out and when you wake up every single day and you walk these streets and you talk to these families, what do you ultimately want to happen? What I ultimately, ultimately want to happen is for these families to know that they're not alone and that I've been able to save at least just one life. And of the 106 murders, 13 of them described by JSO as domestic related. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock here from the Hubbard House, they have a message of what you can do if you feel you're in a domestic situation. Reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.